Hello everyone, I am Ghulam Abbas. I hope you guys are fine and doing great. In this video, I am going to show you how you can bypass the TPM 2.0 and the secure board error if you are trying to uh, install Windows 11 on your computer. Uh, so basically, my computer, it can support, it has TPM again uh, when I am checking the um, my PC that if it meets the requirement of the Microsoft, this software uh, unfortunately, it's saying that this PC can't run Windows 11. When I know that I know that it can support Windows 11. Suppose, let me just tpm.msc. If I have to type on the uh, tpm.msc on the start menu or the, on the run dialog box, you can see that the TPM management uh, action will open. Now you can see even down here it's written that the version of the TPM is 2.0. I don't know but maybe it is because of the late version of the windows 11 but however so there are basically multiple ways that you can use to uh, bypass the tpm error if you are facing the issue so first go ahead open a site called into zoom.com okay now here you can see a post decision how to fix this pc can't run windows 11 well basically i have uh, introduced here two methods and uh, method number one is really simple and that is you have to create a bootable usb of windows 11 uh, you can use refuse or the command prompt whatever you are comfortable with okay once the bootable usb is created you have to delete the appraise.dll file here to also explain what is this appraise.dll file is basically a compatibility tool which checks and function uh, checks the functionality of the operating system so you have to delete this uh, appraise.dll within the iso uh, sorry the bootable usb and then replace it with a new one uh, here is the link given you can just go ahead uh, and download the new appraise.dll so here is the download link here yeah. just click download I'm not robot. Okay, stairs. Okay, which one of them is it? Okay, you have to try. Okay, there's the new version. You have to basically try the newest version. If the newest version didn't work, you have to try the oldest version okay now okay the file is downloaded let me open the folder uh here is i am attaching the usb no, the usb is not attached yet Uh, okay, now you can see that the USB is now available here. Basically, currently uh, I have booted it with the Windows 10, but you may use the Windows 11. You have to go to the sources directory and then you have to file uh, find the same file that, as I said before, here is the file. Uh, Apres, Eros, or Dadel, I don't know how to basically pronounce that one. Basically, you have to just go ahead and replace the file with this one, just extract it. Uh, and then uh, copy after copy you have to simply go ahead uh, and replace it just the same way that's all this is the first method however whenever you are seeing that this method is not working then you have to use the second method uh, it is also the very easiest method so i found the uh, github here you can see that inside the github uh, here is written bypass tpm check and secure board dot registry file basically uh, in inside the registry file we are editing our own type of registry that this should bypass the error so here you can see that this is the simple line of command you have to simply copy them uh, open notepad uh, on your computer then uh, you have to paste the line of the code and then go to file and save us and after that one save it wherever you want but in the end you have to move it inside the usb suppose i'm going to name it bypass the bypass tpm dot reg reg is really important because that is the extension of the registry uh, if you do not put reg it will be basically a text file so just simply click save uh, and now 
where is the file where is okay here you can see it is the registry file once you created that one just go ahead open uh, sorry copy the file and after that one open up the usb and paste it now during the installation let me have to show you a video uh, this will i think this way you will basically understand better because uh it will really take some time to boot the computer and then record the video so here you can see that here is uh, someone has recorded a video on youtube and you can see that they are booting the usb and here you can see when he is trying to install the windows it is giving him this pc can't install windows 11 so it is giving an error at that time you have to press shift plus f10 it is going to open the command prompt there you have to type simply notepad now you can see the man is typing notepad here is n-o-t-e-p-a-d and then he's pressing enter on the keyboard and now you can see that the notepad has been opened after that one he is going to the file and then he is going to choose open to locate the uh, location of the usb which contains basically the windows uh, sorry the registry file I'll provide the this video in the description so you may watch it very clearly uh, you can see in the description uh, he is basically at first he is uh, opening all the at first he is basically uh, showing all the files after that one okay hold on a minute yep he is viewing all the files here yeah, to show the registry files because they won't show up after that one he is going to merge the usb that's all so once he has done that one it is going to basically uh the restriction will be over and you can install the windows 11 inside your computer so hold on yes now you can see that he can simply install windows 11 now this is the first part however there is also another method uh, i found it inside the windows latest uh, let me i have to go it to windows latest.com uh, this method is also useful if you are trying to bypass the windows 11 tpm so um, okay where is one this was basically the very first method uh, no this is the first method inside the here uh, it is basically saying that you have to press uh, shift plus f10 after that one uh, the same the command when that opened you have to simply open the registry uh, after that one you have to visit the this location let me i have to simply guide you uh, right it yes okay he's saying that you have to open up the uh, local machine setup uh, system basically okay you have to go ahead to the here uh, hk local machine after that one go to the system and uh, under the system you can go ahead to the setup directory now from there uh, you have to simply uh, create lab config to new entries okay okay now you have to name this thing lab config and then you have to simply create two new uh, values inside this one sorry not the directory delete this one yes new string no not this one either not this one either it's just simply delete it mm. okay now you have to simply create a new uh, expanding string value and then you have to simply paste these two chords there basically these two chords are almost the same and it is going to work you can see that the end of the line they are the same so it is uh, uh, i recommend you to use the very first method that i told you that you have to download the 
simply copy this code and then paste it inside the uh, a CMD and save it as a rec file you may use this one if you are uh, really good at it but if you are saying that uh, I'm not really into it you may use the appraise.dll uh, I showed you here is the download link uh, the site uh, into zoom.com here is also the download link when you click you will uh, go ahead to the download section and download this one and replace it so there's also another method it is it, it is really confusing uh, I don't recommend you because um, for beginners it is really hard so also here is the video um, which explains everything basically it's really really confusing so these are the methods that you can uh, bypass this PC can't install Windows 11 due to the TPM so I hope you like this video uh, we'll meet we'll meet in the next video so till next time have a nice time and goodbye